Good morning and welcome to the coffice. I hope that you are well this morning. Today is Monday and that means it is Proclamation Day where we are reading through proclamations from Dr. Peter Wynn's Proclamation for Life book. And this week is week 13. The scripture to be thinking about this week and um, just reflecting on and spending some time looking at is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23. And it says, For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable seed, through the living and enduring word of God. Jesus bought you with a price and gave you the path to eternal life. So I want to encourage you to look at that, what it looks like in your life right now, and setting up things for eternity. So the proclamation for this week is an adaptation from Psalm 107. I've been reading a lot in the Psalms this week and just encouraging myself and those around me to be proclaiming the Psalms, especially like the latter ones that are just about praising God. And it's just, it's so good and it lifts your spirit. Well, this week is Psalm 107, and here's the proclamation. I give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Jesus redeemed me from the hand of the devil. I called to my God, and he saved me from my distress. The Lord sent his word and healed me. I thank him for his unfailing love and wonderful deeds. I will gladly tell of his works. Lord, you bring pools of water to the desert. You turn parched ground into flowing streams. You bring the hungry to life and prepare a city for your people. You bring the needy out of affliction and silence the wicked. I see it and rejoice. Great is your love, O Lord. This is such a great passage. And this is something that I could see different phrases of this, like writing it down and sticking it around your house um, and just proclaiming it. If you have kids in the house, have them proclaim it. I give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Even this week when my kids are home, his love endures. Jesus redeemed me no matter what. Jesus redeemed me from the hand of the devil. I called to my God and he saved me. The Lord sent his word to heal me. My friends, the Lord sent his word to heal you. So abide in him and allow him to abide in you. Allow his presence to be your resting place. Be in his word because he sent it to bring us healing. There are treasures to be found there. So I encourage you to say this proclamation and get into the word of God this week. Have an amazing day. And God bless.